By now, you're probably familiar with the Magazine UX. It's the add-on that was put onto TouchWiz uh, by Samsung that uh, added a second home screen to your Tab Pro experience, or Note Pro experience, rather. They are only found so far on the Pro line of tablets, and yes, they are basically a front-end to Flipboard as an application, so we wanted to show you the Magazine UX and really kind of show you what it's all about, and I'm going to demonstrate that by uh, creating a new home screen using the magazine UX and showing you what things you can put onto there. So it's Joshua Gar from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is your feature focus on the magazine UX. <laughs> So we have a bunch of different widgets here. Uh, we'll start off with, uh, let's start off with some applications. Now we're gonna take a look at these applications from calendar, email gallery, all the way over to video. And what you're going to notice here is that the majority of the applications that are on here actually don't pertain to anything but Samsung, uh, Samsung applications. So if you wanted to look at your Gmail or if you wanted to have uh, maybe a, a controller for let's say Google Play Music on there, you're not going to get it here. But from there, we're gonna go ahead and move into the news and now the news here uh, pertains to pretty much all of the different categories that are available inside of your Flipboard application. Now it is a curated list so what you're going to do is pick a few of these and then you can delve into Flipboard a little bit more and pick the different sources that you'll get. So for me I like uh, photos and design for obvious reasons and then after that let's put science and technology for even more obvious reasons uh, and we're going to add to those using our social media. Now on the social media side you actually don't have that many choices. Uh, one that is actually kind of peculiarly not there is Facebook. So that is a little odd, but the one that probably pertains most to me will be YouTube. So I'm going to go ahead and add YouTube on there and that should do it. Uh, that's pretty much everything that you have to know about just the uh, widgets that are available for the magazine UX. And that's pretty much all that you have. So with that pretty much done, we do have other ones here. Um, I don't really use Flickr, um, Twitter. I, I use uh, TweetDeck instead of the regular Twitter application. All the different news outlets are right here. And uh, here are the applications, just to recap. So with that in mind, let's just go ahead and tap on the screen that we created and there it is. So uh, in this case, since I want to have the calendar have a lot of information on it, it is bigger. We do have two news sources right here and then we have YouTube. I would actually like YouTube to be bigger. So I'm gonna bring it to the top here. And as you can see, it moves it over. Uh, down here, you do have the ability to, uh, after you press and hold on a widget to start looking at the widgets again, but also you have the change layout here that would just shuffle all of the tiles uh, there for you. So if you can't really figure out a nice way of doing it, you could just let the application figure it out itself or the magazine UX figure it out by itself rather uh, but for the most part it's pretty easy to just get everything situated and uh, in order for you to change the uh, the sources that might come up there you have the menu button that's right here and it will bring up this pullover that pulls the information from the Flipboard application as to what kind of sources you'll be able to use now I have had a problem with this in the past where it takes a long time for this to populate and sometimes it doesn't do so at all but what you should be seeing here is a list of different sources uh, not only categories and groups of sources but actual sources themselves like let's say Android Authority uh, that you can get specific stories from in there and as you can see here it's not really loading up right away uh, and I actually haven't been quite too sure why. So this is one of the flaws that happens to be in this magazine UX. Yes, it is a little bit buggy still, uh, if this is any indication. Uh, but ultimately, once you kind of get everything set up, it does give you a nice glimpse into some of the uh, news and some of the social media that is out there in your um, in your feeds. Now, one thing that I have mentioned plenty of times in the review videos for these various tablets is the fact that when you really want to take a look at the content, like for example, this Just Kidding Gamer video up here, if I were to tap on there, it would load up Flipboard instead of taking me straight to the actual video itself, which is what I obviously want to do. But if I were to hit here, it brings you to yet another page from where you see the actual article in Flipboard once again. Finally hit play one last time and it'll finally play. Just it's a little bit more time than I would really hope the magazine UX would make you go through. But it's, uh, for the most part, the Magazine UX is a nice addition. It's something that TouchWiz has needed because it's looked the same for years, uh, but there are a few things to work out and hopefully Samsung will do so in the next iterations of the Magazine UX, either on the Pro line or on the actual phones themselves like the Galaxy S5. So until then, uh, keep it tuned to Android Authority for all of the best coverage. We have the Tab Pro line of tablets that we have been um, 
uh, reviewing uh, recently and we have the Tab Pro 10.1 coming up pretty soon but also we have of course the Samsung Galaxy S5 if you saw all of our coverage of it from MWC 2014 in Barcelona Spain you'll know that we are excited to take a look at that phone and really put it through its paces uh, so for all of that coverage keep it tuned here uh, give us thumbs up and likes on our videos and subscribe if you haven't already and remember Android Authority is your source for all things Android.